All right guys, for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your coupler latch on a trailer. So sometimes you need to replace your latch. This can happen because it can get worn out, it can get bent. This also could have been the wrong size for the trailer. We made it work <laughs> one time, but it doesn't seem to be wanting to work again. So I decided to just replace it. A lot of people think you, only, you have to replace the entire tongue, uh, myself included. I was gonna buy a new tongue, but then I saw this was welded on. So this is gonna be much easier to just replace the latch here. Uh, this was also pretty cheap. I think they're about like eight to 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. I already have the original couple of latch removed. I think this will be the easiest way to explain how these work. All right, let me set up the camera and I'll, and I'll go over how this works. So basically inside the tongue, you have your latch and the latch sits right here. So when you close the latch, this cup is being brought up and then that's what holds on to the, the hitch ball. Um, to remove this whole thing, all you have to do is remove this one bottom nut. This is a lock nut. This is also a tension adjustment. So if your trailer is either really hard to, to close the clamp or it's way too loose, you can adjust this nut to adjust the clamping force. Inside the tongue, there's only one part and it's a bar right here. This end of the tongue sits on the bar. So there's a bar right here that it pivots on. You can see the rivet right here from where that goes through. So this sits on the bar. When this comes down, it pivots, it pivots up the bar and then it pivots down the bar. That's important because when you install this back into the, the hitch tongue, it's gonna look exactly like this. You're gonna have your clamping mechanism on top and then the bar that this is connected to goes through the tongue. Then from the underside, the spring goes on. Then you take the cup and slide it onto that bar. Then while that's all in place, you add the second spring that goes above the nut. And then once you compress the spring a little bit, you'll be able to start threading on your lock nut. And at that point, it's just tightening it up. So I already have this one removed. Um, I have the new one ready to go. I'm gonna show you where I would grease it before you install it, because once it's up there, it's a little bit more difficult to get to. All right, so I don't always wear gloves, but I am tired of having grease on my hands tonight, so we're gonna do it with no grease. So like I was saying, this is the cup. This is the new cup. This is size for a two inch hitch ball. You gotta make sure that the hitch ball matches the cup size that you buy. This is gonna slot onto this bar right here, see how it's pivoting on the bar. I wanna do a, a quick test fit, make sure everything looks good before we grease everything down. All right, to get this installed, it's actually pretty simple. One of the first things you wanna do is take the cup with the dish facing like this. You're gonna slot that onto the underside bar and hold it there. Then you're gonna take your spring and you're gonna put that in through the top and then kind of push it up a little bit and then hold the cup as it is. From there, you're gonna slot this bolt through, make sure it goes through the spring so it comes out the bottom. Then you're gonna put your second spring. This one looks like it comes with a, a tension plate, so we'll put that one on the bottom and then followed by the lock nut. So let's just gently get that started. Okay, so now the, it's essentially installed, everything needs to get tightened up, but now when you pull on that, it closes the cup from the bottom. You can see here, but do you see how it's barely moving it? That's because the tension needs to be um, tightened up. So this is not, does not need to be this high. So we can adjust that bolt. But first I just want to make sure everything fit, which it does. So now I'm going to take the latch out. I'm going to grease all the pivot points and then I'm going to reinstall it. So to uninstall it, it's just the reverse. You got to get the cup out. I don't let this. And then just be careful that your spring doesn't bounce away. Basically any surface that comes in contact with another metal surface, you should put some grease on to prevent wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dispense a little bit of grease. Um, this is the Grease Tech gun I've used in all my videos. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want one yourself. Or if you guys need a grease gun, I find it works really good and it works with all the standard grease bottles that you buy. All right, so this is the cup that will go onto the hitch ball. So I like to grease the cup right here. 
Doesn't need to be a lot, but a little bit will definitely make um, it a lot easier. Uh, the top part here where the spring rides on, it's gonna get some grease. The bottom that rides on that latch. So next, the, the springs, I'll just do a light, a light coating on it, metal to metal. Same with this top spring. Uh, this plate that rides the, that the spring rides on for sure needs it. So I'll put a little bit more on that one because that's going to get a lot of wear every time you clamp down. The spring's going to move all over that. And then, in my opinion, the most important part is the latch here. So this can easily be done once it's already installed. But just getting everything done at once, uh, this part right here, this can get rusty. This gets a lot of, um, a lot of movement. You see that? Because that rides on it there. In the hinge and also this spring in there too. Basically, if you could just get it up in the mechanisms here, you'll do really well. This will feel so much smoother and work a lot easier. If I didn't mention it, this plate down here is probably the most important part. That's where the, the actual clamping force rides on. So having this nice and greased will make uh, clamping down a lot easier. And also put some in the back here. Yeah, you, can, you don't even hear metal scraping anymore. That's how quiet this makes it. Now that everything's greased up, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall. All right, same process. So we're gonna do the cup in first, followed by the spring. You can just push up on the spring to get the bottom cup started. Okay, once you get the cup started, you can actually reach your finger through here to center the spring. And then once you have this part on, that's the hardest part of the whole install. So now we have this in place. Now we can put on our second spring. We can follow that up with the clamp plate and then the tension nut. All right, once you get the nut on, it's done. So now we just gotta tighten it up. pretty solid all right well let's give it a try okay so I gave it a test run before I recorded it to see if everything was gonna work as it should and boy did it not I actually just got back from the store I had the wrong hitch ball on here which was one of the reasons why this wasn't working originally so then I got the correct hitch ball but then the latch that I bought was for a two inch hitch ball so the dish did not work so the reason why I thought that the other one wasn't working because I thought this dish was bent but Turns out it's not bent, it was just for the wrong size. Well, it might still be a little bit bent, but it still works. So what I did was I took the dish from the previous one because I wanted to replace this anyway. And I put that in line with everything else that came in the new set. So now the tongue is for a one and seven eighth inch ball. The hitch ball is now one and seven eighth inch and the cup plate is for a one and seven eighth inch. Everything else, but this is all new. I'm just using the old cup and then we're gonna try it now. Oh, also I tried it before and it was over tightened and it wouldn't seat down. So I just loosened this nut up and I'm about to try it for the first time with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start lowering the trailer. There we go. Okay, we are completely off the ground now on the hitch ball and that clamps in place. So it looks pretty good. I think I probably have some room to tighten this up still. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, but it's working. 